No. Quentin, please let me go. Not until you tell me what it is you have to do in town. I can't tell you. Then forget it and come with me. It will only take a few minutes. We don't have a few minutes, don't you understand? Why not? Because it's getting dark and the gypsy said to buy tonight. But tonight what? Quentin, what's the matter? Hey. I never felt anything like it before. Quentin. It's like tearing my inside. I can't bear it, Beth. It's awful. There must be something I can do. I feel like I'm gonna die. No! Beth, get a doctor quick. Before it's too late. <laughs> doing lying here? I don't know. I was in your room. You went to get a doctor. And when I came back, you were gone. I've been looking for you desperately all night long. All night? Yes. Where have you been? How did you get like this? I don't remember. I don't remember anything. Don't you remember anything beyond my leaving my room? Why do you keep asking me that? Don't you think I want to know? Yes, of course you do. You'd better change those clothes. Yes, yes. Why are they bloody and torn? I don't know, Beth. I don't know. It will be all right, Quentin. It will be all right. No, it won't. Magnus put a curse on me. You don't really believe that, do you? She said something would happen to me last night. And something did happen to me last night. And I don't have any idea what it was. No idea? No. Do you? Yes. I do. What? It was the gypsies. They drove you out of your mind with fear. And then... Sent some gypsy fiend to pursue you. Something that made you go running out into the night, terrified, stumbling blindly through the woods. Could that be possible? It must be that. But the night is over, Quentin. The fiend is gone. And you must try to get some rest. No. It's not over quite so easily, Beth. I don't know what's to come next. But I do know it's not over. A teacher at the school. She was killed by a, a wild beast that came into the room. That's what the police say? Yes, that's what they said. You know what that mean, means, don't you? No. No, I'm not sure. It means that she was attacked by the same beast that attacked you. Oh, Quentin, whatever happened, you were lucky. You at least escaped with your life. That's a very neat theory, Beth, a very neat theory. There's only one trouble. What? I haven't got a scratch on me. And yet, there was lots of blood. Who is it? It's Evan Hanley, Quentin. Don't let him in. Yes, I want to talk to him. Then wait a minute. Her. All right. Come in, Evan. How are you, Quentin? What do you mean? Well, I heard you weren't feeling well. Oh, yes. Well, I, I feel fine now. Good. 
because Judith wanted me to speak to you about a rather delicate business matter. May I proceed? Uh, uh, yes. As I said, it, uh, it is rather delicate. Uh, would you mind leaving us for a moment, Beth? I don't think I should. Go on, Beth. Leave us alone. A short while ago, I drew up a paper for your sister, which you signed. And in return for which, you receive $10,000 on condition that you leave Collinwood immediately and stay away forever. Now, since you have not fulfilled your bargain... Clayton, what's the matter? What do you mean? You look like... Like what? I don't know exactly, but there's something in your face. Yes, there's something in my face. There's something in my mind. And in my heart. I'm sick, Evan. Sick with fear. Fear of what? I don't know exactly. I don't know. Evan! Evan, you've got to help me! How can I help you if you don't know anything? But there is there is one thing I know. Magda the Gypsy has laid a curse on me. What kind of curse? Well, she wouldn't tell me. She wouldn't tell me. She, she only said it would begin last night. And something did happen to me last night. Now, I must know what it was. And you want me to try to find out? Yes. You sure you want to know? Yes, yes. But it's, it's worth not knowing what happened. Not remembering anything. You're sure you remember nothing? One minute I was here in pain. After that, I, I remember nothing. Until up to a short time ago. All right, Quentin, I'll believe that. And I will help you. But it will cost you quite a bit for my... Uh, Professional help. But you're my friend. <laughs> Quentin, perhaps you don't remember the events of last night, but surely you do remember some of the basic facts of life. Uh, there is no such thing as a friend. <laughs> <laughs> 